Tesla announced that by the end of this year, the current Cybertruck production line will be upgraded to 2,500 trucks per week. That's equivalent to 125,000 Cybertrucks a year. Musk has also confirmed that the starting price of the Cybertruck will be $20,000 lower. Along with this information that Tesla will be ceasing production of the Foundation series of Cybertrucks by third quarter. So what are Elon Musk's next development strategies for the Cybertruck? How did Tesla achieve record production speeds with the Cybertruck? First, we want to share some exciting news for Tesla pickup truck enthusiasts. On a special day at Marina Del Rey, Tesla hosted the world's largest Cybertruck sales event. With the presence of tech and car enthusiasts, 29 Cybertrucks found new owners in just one day. This truly marks an important milestone and a memorable event for the electric vehicle community. Sawyer Merritt, one of the event attendees, did not hesitate to share his feelings on Twitter after test driving the vehicle. He expressed that he had a fantastic day and continuously praised Tesla for this impressive product. We know many people have said that the Cybertruck seemed like a fake product that would never appear. Now, Tesla's shipping many Cybertrucks. Astonishingly, this weekly production figure has reached a record 1,300 units. Elon Musk believes that the Tesla Cybertruck is the company's best product. During the annual shareholder meeting, he announced that Tesla had set a weekly production record for the Cybertruck. Tesla continues to set higher targets, aiming to increase production to 2,500 Cybertrucks per week by the end of this year. If this goal is achieved, it would enable Tesla to reach an annual capacity of 65,000 Cybertrucks and plan to ramp up to an annual capacity of 125,000 units. Previously, Tesla had declared a target to achieve a maximum capacity of 250,000 Cybertrucks, and we believe they'll reach this goal next year. Currently, the Tesla Cybertruck is limited to just the U.S. market. When asked if the company intends to bring it internationally, Musk stated on Thursday, we might be able to certify it for other markets sometime next year, but for this year, it's just North America. We did design the car to North American requirements. He also mentioned that other markets would not be considered until the company achieves large-scale production. At this time, the Cybertruck does not comply with European or Chinese regulations due to specific requirements in Europe and other reasons in China. Meeting those regulatory requirements is challenging, and Tesla plans to introduce the Cybertruck to these markets only after mass production in North America. However, considering the production rate of 1,300 units per week or 70,000 per year, Tesla has not yet received the full production target of 250,000 units per year. It may take several more years for Tesla to achieve large-scale production and develop a Cybertruck that meets international standards. Meanwhile, for Canadians, the Cybertruck is still awaiting testing and approval from Transport Canada due to steering regulation issues and a few more vehicles may be required before it can be offered to those with reservations. How is Tesla upgrading the Cybertruck to make it the future of the electric vehicle industry? Tesla is ready to roll out significant improvements to Cybertruck charging, as hinted since April. Previously, issues arose due to Powerline Cybertruck and Low Charge States (SOC), and Tesla has indicated that they'll address these issues in an over-the-air update. However, with less than two weeks left in this quarter, there's only a very short time for Tesla to stay on schedule with those expectations. It seems the update will be released soon, according to Cybertruck's chief engineer, Wes Morrill, who said the update will soon be launched. As for the Cybertruck's battery cells, the 4680 cells have encountered some difficulties in their charging curve, similar to other Tesla vehicles deployed with the 4680s. Tesla has hinted at previous production curve difficulties as well as technical improvements for the new cell standard and eventually ceased production of the Model Y with the 4680 cells. However, this is the first time Tesla has begun major enhancements for the 4680 cells. These enhancements appear to enable recharging up to 154 miles in 15 minutes, improving by about 30% over current charge rates. We hope these 4680 enhancements will also apply to older Model Y vehicles with 4680 cells, which will be the key for owners of these vehicles. 4680 production is currently mainly focused on Powerwall, Megapack, and Cybertruck. Semi has not yet used 4680. And finally, it's like the future, and it works very well. It's comfortable, it'll be a great product. It has a low 48-volt system, finally 12-volt, 800-volt drive system, the world's largest casting system. Bulletproof, all wonderful things. It can be superior to a diesel F350, a very impressive truck, and can run faster than a quarter mile with a Porsche 911 while towing a Porsche 911. 
and Tesla is focusing a lot of change on a lot of progress in production of the 4680 cell. Of course, that's a difficult issue, like having a company that only produces cells all that they do. For the Cybertruck and the cells, it's a very clear path to the 4680, we think, may be cells the most competitive from an effective production perspective. A recent Cybertruck recall has revealed that Tesla has only been able to manufacture 3,878 electric pickup trucks since the delivery event in November 2023, indicating strained electric vehicle production. Now, as part of the latest investor update from Tesla, the company's VP of Vehicle Engineering also disclosed that the output of 4680 energy cells powering the Cybertruck has increased by 18 to 20 percent in the last quarter. This has helped reduce the production cost of the electric Cybertruck using the new sale technology. The 4680 cell production increase in third quarter has surpassed the threshold required for the Cybertruck, reaching approximately 7 gigawatt hours per year as reported on X. Expectations are to lead in the Cybertruck development phase with battery production throughout second quarter as Tesla expands its third and fourth lines in stage one while maintaining inventory levels for several weeks to ensure leading into that connective tissue. Due to the need to accelerate, the cost of goods sold continues to decrease rapidly each week thanks to improved productivity across the entire production line and increased production volume. Tesla predicts that increasing 4680 cell production will help sufficiently reduce the cost so that by the end of 2024, Tesla will produce these 4680 cells cheaper than purchasing nickel base cells NMC and NCA. This means the cost of manufacturing the Cybertruck will go down even further by the end of this year or early next. If Tesla hopes to meet its estimated 2.3 million Cybertruck orders soon, they'll need to significantly increase production of 4680 cells, as producing 1,000 units a week would take over 38 years to fulfill all orders. When Cybertruck got first launched, the production target was 200,000 units a year, nearly five times the current 1,000 units per week that Tesla is celebrating. However, Tesla may not achieve the promised 50% cost reduction compared to conventional battery types they use. The initial 4680 cells paired with the Model Y structural pack only reduced manufacturing costs by about 20% in the simplest manner possible, leveraging the larger size of the cells. The more challenging part is mastering the dry electrode coating method to achieve maximum cost savings while achieving limited success. Tesla can not only produce 4680 battery packs for only 60,000 trucks per year, but has also not yet started mass production of dry electrode coatings. Former chief of powertrain and battery materials at Tesla, Drew Buglino, is said to have implemented the dry electrode coating method. He aimed for Tesla to create revolutionary 4680 battery cells as initially envisioned, rather than simply scaling up production in a repetitive manner. He even discussed with Sandy Monroe during a Cybertruck tour that the batteries inside were made with dry coated electrodes. However, earlier this year, Tesla set a less ambitious goal for the 4680 team, specifically to make their batteries competitive with nickel-based batteries from suppliers like LG or Panasonic. Tesla's new head of the 4680 team is currently striving to increase production capacity and efficiency, as well as cutting battery costs in every possible way, including sourcing cathode materials from other providers if necessary. This may be a more achievable goal than mass-producing dry-coated electrodes and has many opportunities to be implemented by the end of this year. Tesla's reportedly feeling that if they cannot achieve this, they might abandon their entire battery product. Engineers in the team are concerned that even if Tesla can surpass Panasonic's production costs, it could still break the original version, achieving a significant 50% cost reduction. Compared to other battery types Tesla uses, the 4680 pack does not offer many additional advantages in terms of safety, lifespan, or charging curve, making reducing production costs still crucial for the project's survival. Tesla's racing against time as the world's largest electric vehicle battery manufacturers, Cattle and BYD, concurrently produce batteries costing as little as six cents a watt hour. Even if Tesla achieves its cost reduction target by the end of this year, Cybertruck cells will still cost twice as much. This could exert competitive price pressure on Cybertruck and Model Y while diminishing the significance of the 4680 battery as a pathway to lowering electric vehicle costs at Tesla. Why did Elon Musk decide to halt production of the Tesla Cybertruck Foundation Series this quarter? Recently, Elon Musk announced that Tesla will discontinue production of the Foundation Series Cybertrucks in third quarter. Tesla's been delivering the Foundation Series Cybertruck since its release, offering various optional upgrades including FSD, laser-etched Foundation Series badges, LED light bars, white interior decor, power share credit installation, premium lifetime connectivity, and a range of other features, albeit smaller gifts. Elon Musk confirmed that in the upcoming quarter, Tesla will stop providing the Foundation Series to pre-order customers and will begin offering the standard Cybertruck. 
In the United States, the dual-motor AWD Cybertruck will qualify for federal electric vehicle tax incentives, which could be a significant step forward for customers looking to acquire their Cybertruck. For those unfamiliar with the different Cybertruck variants, Tesla currently only sells the initial Foundation Series Cybertrucks. These vehicles come with some exclusive and non-exclusive options compared to the standard Cybertruck, increasing the starting price by $20,000. So what do you get for the extra $20,000? Visually, the most apparent change is the Foundation Series Cybertruck's feature laser-etched Foundation Series lettering. As Cybertruck lacks any external badges, those unfamiliar with Tesla and who encounter the Cybertruck in public may even ask the owner, which company manufactures these Foundation Series vehicles? Additionally, Foundation Series Cybertrucks include Tesla's full self-driving package. Elon Musk had previously announced that by the end of June, Cybertrucks will receive the next-generation FSD, Tesla's most advanced yet. In the Foundation Series Cybertrucks, standard features include the PowerShare hardware and installation cost, enabling your Tesla pickup to serve as an emergency power source for your home or business. For the premium CyberBeast variant, you'll also receive additional accessories such as an LED light bar and other minor upgrades. Beyond the $8,000 full self-driving FSD package and roughly $3,000 for PowerShare installation, both the Foundation Series and standard Cybertruck models offer similar specifications. It appears the purchasers of the Foundation Series Cybertruck are paying an extra $10,000 for the opportunity to be early adopters of this pickup. There is still ongoing discussion about the advantages and potential drawbacks of the Foundation Series Cybertrucks. However, Tesla announced that in third quarter of this year, spanning from July to September, they'll discontinue sales of the Foundation Series Cybertruck. As indicated in recent reports, this decision will reduce the starting price of the all-wheel drive Cybertruck from the current $100,000 to $79,900 and the Cyberbeast from $120,000 to $99,900. In return for this price adjustment, buyers will no longer receive the laser-etched Foundation Series badge, an option that essentially costs Tesla nothing. Additionally, they'll forfeit the $8,000 FSD package and the PowerShare hardware and installation, valued at approximately $3,000. If you're not interested in any of these additional options, your actual Cybertruck price will decrease by $20,000. However, even if you equip your vehicle with FSD and install PowerShare, you still save $10,000 right from the start. Like any consumer market product, the initial production costs for the Cybertruck are high, and Tesla appears to be minimizing losses by increasing profit margins through the sale of Foundation Series Cybertrucks. Looking ahead for the whole year, this figure rises to 130,000 Cybertrucks annually. An interesting aspect of this number is Tesla's statement that the current production capacity at the Cybertruck assembly line in Giga, Texas is about 125,000 trucks a year. This means unless Tesla decides to build a second Cybertruck production line, production of this pickup will be fully accelerated by the end of the year. This will be certainly very interesting, and overall, the Cybertruck production process seems to be progressing smoothly. Next year, Tesla plans to introduce a rear-wheel drive variant of the Cybertruck even cheaper at $61,000, continuing the trend of reducing prices for fully electric vehicles. What do you think? Do you believe the prices of Foundation Series Cybertrucks will increase once Tesla stops offering this option? Also, what's your opinion on the Cybertruck production process so far? What are Tesla's goals and strategy for their pickup truck in 2025? Elon Musk has a clear goal for his pickup truck by 2025. Tesla has set ambitious targets for its Cybertrucks, aiming to achieve a production rate of 250,000 units per year by mid-2025. This production milestone is crucial for Tesla to solidify its position in the competitive electric vehicle EV market, particularly in the pickup truck segment traditionally dominated by internal combustion engine vehicles. The production of the Cybertruck began in late 2023. With Tesla currently producing and delivering the four-wheel drive foundation series priced at $100,000, the high-performance variant Cyberbeast, priced at $120,000, is expected to launch soon. Tesla's strategy includes introducing a rear-wheel drive variant at a more affordable price point to cater to a broader market. Initially, Tesla's focusing on high-margin, low-volume models to ensure profitability and manage the complexities of production. In the first quarter of 2024, the company produced a combined total of 20,995 Model S, Model X, and Cybertruck units delivering 17,027 vehicles during the same period. However, Tesla faces significant challenges in scaling up production to meet high demand. The company has received over a million pre-orders for the Cybertruck, indicating a strong consumer interest. Yet officially ramping up production remains a major obstacle. Elon Musk, Tesla's CEO, has pointed out that despite high demand, 
scaling up production capacity is still a major hurdle. Delays in scaling up Cybertruck production are impacting Tesla's broader product rollout schedule. The company's focus on resolving production bottlenecks for the Cybertruck may potentially delay planned targets. Tesla's strategic focus is ensuring that the Cybertruck meets delivery targets, which could postpone other scheduled projects. Tesla's ambitious production targets for the Cybertruck in 2025 reflect their broader strategy to dominate the electric vehicle market across multiple segments. The high number of pre-orders underscore strong market demand, positioning the Cybertruck as a key product within Tesla's lineup. Achieving the production target of a potentially over 250,000 units annually will require significant advancements in manufacturing processes and supply chain management. Introducing high margin variants initially helps Tesla manage profitability while overcoming production challenges. As production capacity expands, launching more affordable variants as planned will be crucial in attracting a wider customer base and driving larger volumes. In conclusion, Tesla's 2025 goals for the Cybertruck are ambitious and achievable, provided the company can efficiently expand its manufacturing capabilities. Addressing production challenges while meeting high market consumer demand will be critical to Tesla's success in the competitive electric vehicle market. This strategic approach underscores Tesla's commitment to innovation and market leadership in the automotive industry. We hope you will experience the utmost relaxation after watching this video. If you do, please press the like button and join the Tesla Car World community by subscribing to our channel. Hit the notification bell icon to stay tuned for any fantastic videos coming your way. Your feedback and time are highly appreciated. Thanks so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, stay safe, enjoy, and God bless you. Bye.